Hello, good morning everyone. Welcome to C-Block Sunday here on the Rustic Water server. How are you? Check it out. There's been some changes around the base. I told you last time I was going to move the Ember Ore Factory because it was getting really hot in this room and this is the room I spend the most time and I didn't want to get hot in here. So I've moved it. Yay! I'll show you where it is in just a moment. Um, I haven't done anything with uh, as far as building. The rest of this is still the same. Um, I do plan on changing out these two sides and eventually this one to be something else. And then this hub will look completely different eventually too. Um, I went to the dungeon, picked up a couple of mobs in lassos. I currently have this um, ancient golem running because I want these bricks. These bricks make some really nice looking embers blocks. And um, well that's weird. That should not be a thing. Oh, I guess since it's a mob drop and it's said in the thing that mob drops can do this. Anyway, I want it for the, the blocks, the archaic bricks and the archaic edge. Um, yeah. These, these, these blocks, I think the town needs that. Yeah, they're pretty. I like them, I want to use them. Um, he's still doing pretty health, his health is still pretty good. So, um, yeah. We're gonna let that run for a little bit longer. Um, I'll probably need to empty this chest out and keep going. But the other mobs I have is an Enderman, Skeleton, a Creeper, a Zombie, and the Baby Heat Scar Spider that you saw me get when we went to the Nether. Um, those are the mobs I currently have. Yeah. Um, and I got those from the dungeon. I did a little bit more dungeon crawling. So I did get some more um, more loot which I have chucked in here so clearly I'm not gonna be able to show you what I got but I did get some um, item conduits from Endryo. I remember I got like three item conduits um, I got a bunch of gears and plates and some enchanted books and a couple of potions um, nothing that I'm like oh my gosh I have to show everyone I got <laughs> But anyway, let's go up and show you my new setup. You excited? All right, so let's go up. We're on the top floor. Here's our new setup. This is the new sluicing setup and we'll go through it. I currently have the um, coil turned off because it's not doing anything. But we've got our strainer bases, which I have four of. And with the hoppers, I put crates above it so that eventually I might actually have a bunch of strainers made and fill those up. Who knows? Looks like we've got some backup that we're gonna have to deal with. I wonder what's stuck. Can I see from here what is stuck? So I can, I'll need to expand. One of these is full. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, all right, clay, you know, I had this feeling it was going to be clay. Let's fix that first before I keep showing you everything. So let's go grab, I got a few storage drawer upgrades. Um. Let's do the two. Boom. That already had, yeah. So that should fix that problem. Get that all going. No wonder I was like, why aren't things filling up faster? I have this currently turned off because I wanted to build a buffer in here of this stuff. Um. I'm not yet happy with the buffer because it'll go through this really fast. So it's turned off via the output here. It's not able to do anything. 
Um, this is my ember activator. This we are hopefully going to improve today. Um, the ember activator is actually like in any tech mod, you know, you've got the coal generator or the sterling generator or whatever generator that's like the very first one that you want to get rid of as soon as possible. That's pretty much what this ember activator is. This is like the first one. There are better, more efficient ways of producing ember. And we're going to be looking into that today. It requires lava, so it's going to get really hot in here. And I have to figure out where to put it. Um, but so far, this is what we've got going on. Um, I have one um, emitter going back there to the receptor into the ore factory. The, this one here is going into a copper cell and it's going down below and I'll explain to you why in a moment if you can't figure it out. Um, I am using uppers just to pull items out of these two drawers which happen to be the chunks and they go on this covered conveyor belt to a dropper and it drops right on the hearth coil. When the hearth coil is running, it gets really hot in here. So this this room we're probably gonna be having as the hot room and I won't wanna spend a lot of time in here. But the reason I have a copper cell in the floor is I have another actuator here, another emitter, and it sends it to the um, hearth coil. This is also where you take stuff out of the hearth coil. It takes the finished products and puts it in inventory somewhere in the block. And so I just have item extractor going into a controller slave here. The second thing I have is there's an item duct from thermal expansion under here with a retriever. And that retriever is configured to the ember shards. The ember shards are going into that upper that's up there. I know this is not pretty, but it works. <laughs> So I'm able to keep Ember in there and I'm able to get items out of here and I'm able to put items into it. So we don't have any chunks in our system right now. It's all been smelted to this stuff. So we have a lot, in my opinion, we have a lot of resources this early because technically we are still early. So that's what this is so far. Um. 188, woo, we're rich. Is this moving yet? Looks like things are moving. Yeah, so after a while this will clear out. So we'll be fine in a bit. Hopefully. <laughs> but that is what I did between last stream and this stream. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, it's expandable. I don't think I need to expand. I think this is everything. I may want to um, convert the fish bones to bone meal. I may want to make a couple of more compacting drawers for things like maybe slime balls or redstone or coal. I haven't decided on those things yet. Things that you can, there's a lot of things you can compress using the compacting drawers. Maybe in time, I only have this much space that I want to use for this particular setup. I have not decided if I want to have further ore processing up here and just use the hearth coil for all of it. That's a possibility as well. Um, let me show you what the hearth coil looks like when it's on. Um, the hearth coil, again, it, it's a very fast furnace. It drops out, it cooks items directly that are floating on top and then when they're done they get sucked into the hearth coil and that's why the output is on the bottom. Um, the longer that this runs, the hotter it gets so the faster it works. So and I, I don't, you know, if I stand too close to it for too long I will get really hot. But um, that's the way that works. Like I said, the longer that it gets ember, it gets hotter and works faster. So the challenge with this bag specifically is, uh, it doesn't say here, remember it's every, when it pops up every once in a while it says in two minutes all um, items in the world will despawn. That also counts for the things floating on top of the hearth coil. So you have to keep that in mind. Um, 
I actually babysat this when I first got it set up and had both of those drawers full because when I got the 30 seconds to pick before everything despawns message, I would hop up here, grab everything, put it away um, so that it would not be there and get all these fun. Like, all oh, my work gone. No. Okay. So this is just a copper coil. There is a higher tier one that's larger. I don't, I can't make it yet because it needs Dawnstone. And for those of you who have not played with embers, that's going to require a whole embers set up if I want Dawnstone. It's going to need the melter and the stamper and the, the block that alloys things. And it's not yet required. I don't know if it is required, but I also know that I probably will be using a decent amount of ember for things. If we're getting ember shards from our strainer, we're getting ember shards from our ore factory over here, and we're also going to end up getting ember in some form from the boar that, that is in this pack as well, the ember boar. Um, it doesn't pick up just ember, it also collects um, ores. So there's a, there has to be a reason the pack maker made ember shards so prevalent. And my thought is that they need to be used. So we're going to hopefully today try to get the better processing. I haven't watched the video from oh so long ago. I may need to bring it up. Um, but I know that it there needs to be some kind of metal, which is a problem. We'll have to redo this whole setup because there's going to be another machine similar to this with on top of some kind of a conductive metal block, lava surrounding it because the lava helps with the conductive metal block to heat ember faster. And that particular factory can produce up to 1.5 times ember. So you're getting more efficiency um, out of the block. Again, there's gonna be lava here. So I will have to concern myself with getting hot. So yeah, I need to figure out that. Um, maybe let me look real quick and see if I can find an image embers. Uh, improvement. Let's see here. Um, embers. I might just have to watch the the um old mischief of mice bit by bit that covered it let's see if we can find it yeah well i found part one so that's helpful let me bring it up welcome to the mischief and then Is this the one that is... Mm. This is probably the one. Uh, for those that don't recall. Corrected values one, perhaps. <laughs> Maybe, perhaps, don't know. Woo, here's Welcome. the uh, playlist. That, uh, that, 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 that will be helpful for me. I'm, I'm probably not gonna watch it right now. Just so you know, not probably gonna watch it at the moment. But um, I wanted to have it so that I could take care of that. Anyway, today we're probably going to do just a couple of quality life things, see what we can get done. It's going to be a slow, lazy sort of stream. If you caught me yesterday, you've already heard that um, my carpal tunnel in both of my wrists is... I'm currently dealing with a flare up and uh, so they're, they're a little painful. And I woke up this morning with them more painful than yesterday morning. Um, 
So I'm just trying to be very careful with them. I'm on a lot of meds. I'm wearing um, my braces and I'm wearing my uh, fingerless gloves to keep them the joints warm. Um, so I can't do anything that requires a lot of dexterity or being fast at anything because my fingers feel like sausages. With that said, I'm sure there are things we can do here for a little while to progress a little bit. Um, one being, I would like to finish that nether furnace that we were working on last time. If we bring up the quest book, we were working through this, and this is the one we were at. This um, little bit here, which I think we have a few things we need to make. I know I don't have a machine control. I don't know where those are if I use them in something else. But we're working on making the ember mechanic in order to run our ember bore. That would be down at uh, bedrock level. Um, the ember mechanic is better than using the steam engine, steam boiler. Let's see here. We've got this this um this here is the picture that i'm talking about so we're gonna be setting up our ember bore right so i need to make all of these bits and pieces but the steam engine and steam boiler this setup is one way of doing it another way of doing it is through a special machine that the mod pack maker has created called a mechanical user that would essentially eliminate the steam engine and steam boiler from the process and you'll have a modular machine here but i'll still need the axles and the gears and this axle box and the actuator i will need all of that stuff to make my ember bore work okay so this uh, lovely setup is what we're going to work towards let me put it in here where i have the blueprint and the bore we have the mystical mechanical output, but I'm pretty certain, yeah, I don't have, we're working on the nether furnace, but I don't have a machine controller or normal fluid input hatch because I used them for the ember or factory up there. <laughs> so we'll need to make those again. Yay! But the nether furnace, remember we started doing this, nether furnace. This guy. We have the compressed nether rack. We have a furnace. We do not have. It says accepts any glass, but it only switches between the two Natura types. Um, I think I tried it with regular glass and it wouldn't. No, I didn't because I didn't pick up the lava. Let's try it with regular glass first, but like I said, it's only switching between the two from the nether. And I do not have heat sand or soul sand to make this particular glass. So we're going to see about that. Lava is what we were waiting on. Um, we'll use a regular bucket. What what one this goes in? It goes in the trader's workshop. So let's grab the nether rack. Here's the compressed stuff. And the furnace that I have. And we'll grab regular glass just in case it actually will work. All right, so we were waiting on lava, which you can get from the arboreal extractor on a uh, nether nature a tree. I've got a dark wood here because it grows a certain size every single time, whereas a ghost wood grows in a variety of sizes, much like an oak tree. This is more like a birch tree where you always have a birch that looks exactly the same every single time versus an oak that can sometimes be giant and sometimes not. Yeah. A naturally grown dark wood and I've got lava so we're going to be picking this up and putting it in our uh, trading table we need four buckets there's two I know I could have just grabbed more buckets I wonder if I could, I probably could have used that gold one. Three. Okay. And four. Now 
if we do this, see it says it's missing. Um, four buckets. Yep. Definitely needs. Okay, wait. Knife. Knife. Yes, it needs to be the glass from made from nether materials. So we need to go to the nether and get those things. Um, excavator. I found got one of these in a loot raid at, over at the. Well, let's leave the diamond one. Let's use the invar one. Um, over at the dungeon. I like I said. I believe I completely cleared it out. Now I think I got all of the loot. I, I think. So. Hopefully we're good with that. While we're there, we should probably try to get bloodwood. I have heard from other people on the server that you need bloodwood for the water mill. The water wheel. The water wheel. <laughs> yep. You need bloodwood for that. So hopefully we can find ourselves a bloodwood tree. I might want to make a new ad. not paired um, I'm not super picky the only thing is I need to make sure that it won't die really quickly uh, just to stick with steel I think I don't have sticks in there I don't have wood on me let's get some Should make some more steel. In fact, do I have any in there? I do. All right, so we've got that. We have our gear for the nether. Um, right click. Yes. Um, as far as I've got one cool pack and some cool drinks. Why it didn't put that stuff away, I don't know. Uh, should I take this? I should probably take that because we're down to 30%. I don't even know if it says. It says no power cell. I know there's a power cell in there. In case I encounter something, I only have 29 arrows. Let's get some more arrows in case I encounter a ghast that I can't fetch. I'd love to grab one but in a lasso, but you know, that's kind of silly. <laughs> well, I can only really grab him if he's like on the ground and I can run up to him. Um, but I don't want to spend forever in the nether. I just, I don't. Um, I want to go get one of the two kind of sands, hopefully grab a blood tree, and that's it. Do I have enough to drink? Do I have any, like, heat resistance or um, fire resistance, maybe? Would that, oh, that only help me if I catch on fire. Um, and I think I have all the goo packs. Yeah, that one's empty. Do I happen to have a packed ice? I do. I think I can do that. And that, right? Um, wasn't it? Okay, maybe it's this way with the ice first. No. It says throw this away, but I know that you can...
Packed ice. Hmm. Does it need to be in a three by three? It does. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so let's see how well we do. I only have the one liner in each of these, I think, which would be nice if we had more, but I don't believe I have more cool. Yeah, I don't have more of this stuff. So we'd have to make more of that. Not interested at the moment. We're gonna try this. Try. Should I repair you? Can I repair you just by putting you in the crafting grid with some steel? Or do I need to use an anvil? <laughs> Probably. Yeah. There we go. All right. Just a little nervous, guys. The Nether is a scary place. Although now I've got all of my nutrition bars up, which means I've got more health and more, um, I am going to make an assumption that we're back because it looks like we are. Okay. Let us get into the nether. Okay, we're here. This is the same place we've always been. Trying to get up high enough to reach the, uh, um, to reach blood, um, blood trees might be quite a challenge. Um, Blood trees are always up at the top of the... See, there's one up there. Here's soul sand. Let's grab that. one there. How close is that really? Hey. Alright, so we have enough soul sand. The other thing I wanted to get... We don't need this just yet. I wanted to get... We're going to see if we can get a bloodwood tree. Um, these mushrooms over here. Did we not grab them last time? Is, there a, is that bloodwood tree within reach? We're starting to get warm. Ugh, it looks like a no. I don't know if these are useful. Is he accessible? Oh, he looks quite a ways away. Hey, Darth! Um... Delirious Syntax, thank you for the follow! Please come down. Oh, you're in the lava. Oh, 
Oh, yay! Oh, that makes me so happy. Let's turn our goo pack on. Um, do we see a bloodwood tree around here somewhere? That looks quite a ways away. We're so very hot right now because we've been standing in lava. Okay. Can I get to those? Maybe. This is a mod pack called C Block Rustic Waters. Bloodwood tree! Oh my goodness. Alright. I need to eat. Oops. I want a sapling. That's all I'm here for. I mean, I could get the wood too, I suppose. There we go, there's a sapling. But we can use the hopping bonsai plants for these. We just need another rack. And that wood takes forever! I don't want to be here that long. You know, something that would be nice to try to grab. And I saw a spawner over here. Should we chance it? Is it accessible? Like, is this stuff touching? No. Is it touching somewhere? <gasps> it is. Oh, someone's already been here and grabbed this water. Or it's not a good place to be. We might need these mushrooms. I don't see anything spawning up here. Even wither skellies I'm not seeing. So, hmm. Anyway. We've got... I'm playing on a server. Delirious Syntax. I am playing on a server. the diamonds. Um, more diamonds. Lots of diamonds. I don't want to fall. Kind of hoping to get a blaze or a wither skeleton. Um, I'm starting to get really warm. Don't really need anything you zombie pigmen drop. All right, where's home? Where is the portals over there? It would be nice if I could find some brown mushrooms. I found the red variety. Okay. Doing pretty good about not getting super hot. That's good. And I think through here is our access to our portal out. Hmm. Maybe not. This is up too high. We're down lower. We happen to see. Anything on the fortress here that I can snag? See, there's another spawner spot, but yeah. Anything? Anything? 
Oh, 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 oh. I only have one. Which do I grab? Blaze or Wither Skelly? Where are you? Ha ha. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yep. Withered. Withered, not good. Um. So, this little stairway is not the stairway I wanted, wherever that actually was. But I know the exit's somewhere. That's not an exit. Hmm. I need to eat again. There's a nitro creeper there. Don't need you. There's our exit. Okay. Again, this is not the nether portal we go through. This is somebody else's portal. So, <laughs> woo on that front. But uh, at least we have our sea moth. to take the uh, battery out of this here pretty soon. Hi, Darkwing! of my armor go did just get deleted that's bad if that's what happened okay no I'm wearing where is it going hmm. all right so we got a ghast and a wither skeleton how's this guy doing still doing pretty good we're gonna need to take out the archaic bricks here pretty soon um, just put you back and that that we need to make another one of these but we'll just put that in there for now um we have space in our inventory now weird anyway we got mushrooms we got blood wood that we could get growing when we need a water wheel we have sand that we can now turn into the sand we need. Let's put the excavator and hammer away. Use this up. Um, food stuff. We need a bit of everything, so let's switch to protein real quick. And then fruits and vegetables. We'll do a little bit of that. We should have more. Yep. Soul glass. Um, yeah, let's. Yay, another furnace. So that 
was that quest done? Let's do that. We get two potions of night vision and two potions of swim speed too. Your ember ore factory and ember quarry both require powertrain setup. My ember ore factory is running on ember. Uh. That's what this is, isn't it? Ember ore factory. It's running on ember. It doesn't need a mechanical. It probably could run on mechanical power, but it's running on ember. Which also means maybe the ember bore? No, the ember bore is a different, different thing. Anyway, we need that. I need to take these out. Okay. Once you assembled the multi-block, place a gear box directly onto the mechanical output. Then a gear and axle coming off of the gear box. Each additional bend of the powertrain intersects at a gear box. You will need one iron gear at the point the axle enters and another at the point the axle exits the gear box. You can see a picture of this setup on your tip sheet, which we've looked at. Gonna get a tank of lava to when we do this. Um, let's make sure we have all the parts first for the um, the ember mechanic. I told you we didn't have all the parts. We need two more pieces. We've got the nether furnace and the mechanical output. We need to make a second controller and a fluid input hatch. Okay, so the machine controller is this guy. So we need a conductance coil, wiring kit, and two buttons. Do we have any wiring kits? We do. Do we have any coils? Transmission. We don't have conductance, which needs copper. So we need to grab the copper. And we need, do we have buttons? We do. And then it was the modularium, which we're running low on. We may have to make more of. So let's start out by doing the coil. And then the controller. Okay, so now we have the second controller, the controller we need for this one. And then we needed the, what kind of input hatch? Normal fluid input hatch normal fluid input hatch u which is converting them let's do this one. Oh, it needs a copper bucket and some modularium all right do we have copper plates copper plates we do and that was in here right Yep, and then we need to go to here to make the input hatch. Normal fluid input hatch. You. All right, so that will make the four block for the ember mechanic. Uh, the ember mechanic, if you don't remember from last time, replaces the need for the steam it replaces the need for the steam boiler and the steam engine. This isn't necessary if we have the ember mechanic. And the ember mechanic still needs fuel and water. So it's, it's just a more compact way of doing a steam generating whatever. So we need gear boxes. We need to make two of them. It looks like I need an actuator and a core.
So the next quest here is to make two steel gear boxes. So we're gonna need eight steel plates, eight iron mechanical components, and two steel axles. Um, steel, we have six steel plates, so we need to make a couple more steel plates. Um, let's make 16. And then the iron mechanical components, we only have one of, um, and that is iron plates and metal fasteners. We have the iron plates, we need the fasteners. All right. Hi, what do you got? What do you have? Oh, an aluminum plate. Okay, well, can you do some steel ones for me, please? Thank you. All right, and that was... steel plates and we need to do two of these which are steel rods. Do we happen to have steel rods? Steel whoop. we have three so we're gonna need more steel rods and the recipe for those are with plates. Okay so we're getting those made right now. How you doing? Oh, you're almost done. Good, good. No rods. Probably gonna need more of these because we need them not only for the gearbox, but we need them for connecting stuff together to make the mechanical functioning happen. Gearbox, can we do it? There's one, can we do it twice? All right, and it gives us two axles left. And what kind of gears did it say? Iron gears. Yay for lava. Uh -huh. We don't have any iron gears, that's fun. Okay. Can't wait till we do the metal press. But this is what we have right now. I totally hope we don't need 12. We're probably going to need more axles. I do need to make the, um... Not machine. Um... There. Mechanical core. Um, that will give us access to the machine from more than one access point. This will give us more access points. Steel, iron mechanical components, winding gears. Steel, um, iron mechanical components we're gonna need to make more of, and I can't remember the recipe already. And winding gears, we need to make those as well, which needs a copper and iron gear and some redstone. We have a copper gear. Okay, um, and we needed these fasteners and plates, that's right.
Okay. This is where the gear, the mechanical components are made. We'll do that many. And then to make this, we need to make these. Do one of those. Mechanical core. All right. Gearbox. Probably don't need half the stuff that's in here, especially the ember stuff. We should probably take it out. Ember stuff can go in here for now. And this is building blocks that we don't need. Down there. Probably don't need the fluid tank either. Um. Item pipes. Item. At two. That's a start. We're gonna need to do an item extractor. And we're gonna need that. I don't need the coral in there. Oh boy, we're likely going to need to go up and down and up and down from the bedrock to here. Um, because I'm pretty certain I'm going to need more things. Let's do an item extractor, which is an item pipe, and we're going to need more item pipes. Aluminum plates and adhesive. Adhesive. Ooh, we need more adhesive. Aluminium plates. Was it a copper gear to make the um, bone meal? Caiman Ooh, the Caimanite blend is what I don't have. We need to make it, which is clay, balls, and sand with purified water, both of which we have up there. So let's grab some of that. Did this take care? Yep, it's all empty now. Good, good. going to need purified water. We'll start with that. Don't have any purified water. That's something I really should automate um, a little bit of so I don't have to keep making it when I need it. Um, I have it down on my list of things to do. <laughs> that have some left it does okay we have Caimanite blend and bone meal do I have I have and is that done in here as well probably with more of that purified water I just took out how much does this make? 11. Uh, we'll start with that. And then I need... That seriously only make... That's terrible. <laughs> I made a whole whopping two pipes because I need more adhesive. This means we need to make some more water. Did 
definitely want to automate purified water. We also need to make the um, creosote tank more accessible. Um, I may just do a fluid extractor into a fluid pipe and then have a open blocks tank somewhere um, access more accessible. If you remember we moved the coke oven here and there's a giant embers reservoir outside there. Um, there, out there. So if we could get a pipe into the lever, the layer, and um, pipe it just into a tank in the wall or something, we can right click it with a bucket and access creosote that way. I still have a bunch down here from when the creos when the coke oven was right here, so I'm not worried about it at the moment. Bone meal came in a blend. They gave us 19. I need to go get some more bones. This isn't going to make a whole lot. We'll start with that and see how we do. Um. So, putting fluid in the ember, in, in the uh, thing we're making here, what is it? The mechanical, the mechan ember mechanic? We're still going to need to put water in. I'm considering just bucketing it in for now. We can figure out automation another time, you know, the next step can be automation. I, let's just grab a regular chest. How do you make these? Can you make... That's the standard recipe. Good to know. I just need blaze rods then and obsidian and... <sighs> obsidian. <sighs> yep. Definitely need that. Alright. Oh. Uh... So we need a better pick or a, and a hammer. Let's grab that. That'll be helpful. We need to get to the bedrock layer. Let's grab those ladders that I just had. All right, and we need you. And we need our diving gear. Right click. Wish it would put stuff in here. Why doesn't it do that? I don't know. Anyways, 